it, Mummy? There's no plane up in the sky. Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at my GAU-8 powder cannon prototype and do a little testing. The original A-10 was designed around the full-size version of this cannon, so I figure it's only fair that I design mine around the smaller version. I think this is going to work out great. Okay, I'll start by letting you know how I've set up the prototype. Uh, I've just used a regular ESC, um, a thousand milliamp two-cell battery. A um, little receiver that I had laying around, and I'm not even sure what size motor uh, I've got on there. But it was fairly small, so I figured it would work fine with the two-cell. Now, it's set up very similar to a bicycle air pump or an aquarium air pump, whereas I've got an inlet valve and an exit valve that goes into the end of the barrel, or into the chamber that holds the powder, and then from there propels the powder out the end of the barrel. So, uh, again, I could have used a, a regular brushed electric motor, but I just didn't feel like I would have the torque that I would get um, from a brushless motor. You can see that I've attached a small piece of tubing um, to the shaft of the motor. It really should be a nice piece of silicon tubing, but uh, again, I'm going to experiment and, and see what kind of acoustics I can get um, from this thing. It may require a little weight in the end of it. It may require making a box similar to a guitar to get some resonance to get a little bit of bass depth out of the sound, but we'll see how that goes. We'll load this thing up. Put some powder in it and uh, I'll show you kind of what it does. Now as I've said this is a, a prototype so there may be lots of changes to be made. Um, it's very easy to load the powder in. I've just taken the cap off the, the texture barrel uh, and shaved it down so it fits quite nicely and, and I just load the powder in that way. A lot of different things affect the sound quality on this thing, so I've got a bit of experimenting to do to find out what works and sounds best. But man, the smoke effect is great. The idea would be to set it up on a switch with a uh, predetermined RPM set so that when you flip the switch just momentarily, you get the perfect sound effect. This is the best one so far. The wind blowing into it is perfect. 